Hey Aquarius, I hope everybody's well. So this is going to be a general love reading for September 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can get a personal reading. And the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so let's see. Aquarius, what is going on with you? First half of September. All right, we have material world and we have purge. Okay, so somebody here in this connection um, may have been putting a little bit too much emphasis on what has been going on in their external world, in their material world, which would involve status or how others view them possibly. Whatever, whatever that might be, I feel like this person is purging that energy out, all right? Um, so definitely not an easy process. All right, this is all about when you're purging the material world, that means that you are becoming more in touch with the spiritual side of you and your higher self. So again, could be you, could be your person. In some cases, it could definitely be the both of you. So let's see. Aquarius, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of September. All right, that's funny. I had a card from the different from the clarifying deck in here, which is the Page of Swords. All right, so let's see. For the situation, we have the Ten of Wands crossed by the Page of Pentacles. All right, so somebody is really feeling a lot of responsibility or maybe just feeling very very pressured at the moment and I feel like the challenge for them is to really just trust to trust their own self and to, to take a new path possibly like trust in a new path that might um, help to release this burden let's see the recent past we have the eight of cups near future we have the two of swords all right, so yeah, there, somebody has walked away here. Somebody has walked away possibly from this connection or has emotionally detached from a particular connection here. We'll see. Um, a little bit of maybe some indecisiveness coming up or really trying to, really trying to weigh out two options. We'll see. For you, we have the King of Swords. For them, we have the Page of Cups. For you, the Queen of Cups, for them, the Ace of Pentacles, and potential outcome is the King of Wands. All right, Aquarius. So I feel like you are very determined here. There's a lot of determinism here. You're, you're um, possibly sticking to a particular decision and really trying to follow your intuition and follow your um, what your heart is telling you. I do feel like there you have a lot of emotions for a person here. But at the same time, I feel like you're trying to be firm and kind of um, stand your ground. All right, for them, the Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So this person here is, um, I'm getting that they're possibly feeling <laughs> manic. He's been doing this a lot today. Um, this person does have emotions for you as well, but mostly what I'm getting with this is that they're feeling possibly a bit apologetic for something. Um, kind of like thinking of you in a way where remembering you as, or thinking of you as um, something really, really sweet, something um, like an innocent energy with this as well, and wanting to take some kind of a new path here as well. So let's, let's say King of Wands. I mean, that's, that's going after somebody's passion. That is somebody really overcoming some obstacles. So let's actually clarify and see. I see the Ten of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. All right, hopefully Mannix will sit still. All right, we have the Four of Swords 
the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so, okay, this person, because I, I, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like you're, you're doing your thing. You're in a pretty good energy. Um, so I feel like this ten of um, this ten of wands is your is mostly your person, but it definitely could be that you are also tired and exhausted of whatever it is that may have um, happened here, which means you may also be the one who may have walked away. Doesn't have to be though. Um, so this person is is trying to trust a new a new path here. A new way of um, doing something because there's a lot of there's a huge sense of a responsibility and a huge sense of um, a feeling pressured. So there is a shift that is happening for them. I feel like at the moment this person is being a little bit um, quiet, but they are. Um, it's almost like they're grieving. All right, the way I'm seeing this Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords is that they're grieving some kind of an ending and recovering from it. That's what I mean by grieving, like grieving it in order to be able to recover, which is also what this purge is about. All right, something from their material world, which could be, um, it could be anything. All right, it could be, it could even be this connection. Um, and this could even be you, all right? Um, grieving the, this, this particular connection, all right? I'm mostly seeing it as it being your person. Recovering from a painful ending. And it's like there's this shift here that is happening. There is a change that is happening in a situation that that felt really overloaded. I'm actually going to clarify this Eight of Cups in the recent past. Alright, we have the Magician and the Three of Pentacles. So yeah, somebody walked away here and again, I'm not sure if it was you or if it was them. It could have even been the both of you. Somebody moved away from this connection in order to, I feel, trying to manifest some other kind of a partnership possibly. Whether it was one that, that was already there, that was already existing or for the um, potential of a of a new partnership, okay? So it really depends on the particular situation. Whatever the case though, I feel like, I feel like whatever that other um, situation is, it was, again, it's just based on the material world. Like I don't see any like emotions. It's almost coming in as somebody trying to manifest, again, something in the material world, either status or finances or, um, or a partnership, which could even be a relationship, but not one where there are strong emotions. So let's see what's going on with you. Let's see that King of Swords, your energy. way too many I will take the first two and we have the ten of wands showing up for you as well here and the ace of swords yeah so it's pretty much what I said before that you're you're also tired of this you're um, you're making a decision here to take action in a way where you feel like it is going to relieve you of this stress because you know whatever that material world is for the other person like if you were connected to this person well it was affecting you as well and it's like you know if it's like you were thinking well if if they're going to continue to be a part of that and allowing themselves to be influenced and affected by that pressure well i'm choosing not to be a part of that i don't want that burden on me I actually want to get one more here for you. And we have the King of Cups. So you have both the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're, I feel like you're really finding your emotional stability through this. 
you're able to really balance your feelings out. Um, yes, you might have emotions for this person, but I feel like it just got to this point where you're just like, you know what, like, I need things to be honest, I need things to be truth, I need action, I need determinism, and I feel like that's exactly what you're doing here. Let's see the Queen of Cups. have the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you have your guard up. You're, um, you're really trying to focus again on your own stability, possibly even on your own, um, your own sense of stability whether that be in your material world or um, or just when it comes to being able to take care of your own self. You're trying to move in a, in a new way, in a new path. You have two aces here. And I feel that in order to do that, what you're doing is you're kind of like, you're, you're standing your ground. Again, as I said, I feel like you're setting some boundaries here, some really strong boundaries with this person, but I feel like you are still open to the connection. You are still open to this um, coming back. I feel like you would still want this, this commitment, but you would want it to start again from the beginning with a, with a new, a new basis on, on new grounds. And I feel like if that doesn't happen, that's when, you know, you're like, okay, um, no. So let's see for them. Let's see the Page of Cups. All right. We have Strength, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. What is this person going through here? They're, they have a lot of emotions, and I feel like what they're doing is um, there's some resistance here. There's a, there's strong resistance. They're really holding back a lot. Like I feel like they're actually using their strength in order to resist um, telling you how they feel or expressing their emotions or that apology, if there is one. So if there is some communication, this person might might be appearing to be a little bit cold, a little bit distant. Um, I feel like they're going through a challenge. I feel like they're really trying to figure things out here. It's almost like they are trying to find that strength in order to push forward, like not having given up just yet. All right, not having given up just yet, but at the same time, holding back and resisting that urge um, to communicate fully from their heart. Let's see that Ace of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Emperor. Yeah, this person has not given up. This person has not given up. There's definitely um, something that they want to get off their chest. They want to um, express themselves emotionally to you. Um, but they're going about it in a very logical way. I feel like that is what the issue is. That is actually what is holding them back. That they're like, um, almost like they're thinking about it a little bit too rationally. And, you know, when they think about what it is that they want to say, they're like, no, 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 like, I can't say that. I need to keep more of a distance. And so I feel like for that reason, they might not, for some of them, they might not um, express themselves at all just because they don't know yet how exactly to go about um, expressing that. 
um, but they have not given up. Like they're still thinking about that, all right? They're still trying to find a new way to go about this. I don't know what this um, burden is, what this um, sense of responsibility is here in their, in their life. Um, like I said, you know, like recovering from some kind of, some kind of an ending or at least trying to heal that ending as they go through it, even if it's not 100% um, finalized. They're definitely feeling that loss though, okay? So it's definitely in the process of happening, whatever that, whatever that ending is, and I don't feel like it's the connection with you at all. Um, if anything, with the Eight of Wands here, this is somebody who is wanting, again, to communicate. I mean, it's the second time we're getting a communication card for them. And I actually feel like they want to communicate to you about whatever this Ten of Swords is. And I feel like they're on the right path here. All right, yeah, they're holding back. They're definitely holding back at the moment. Um, and again, it's because they're grieving some kind of a loss. There's a major shift that is happening for them here with that Wheel of Fortune. All right, but they're, be they're stepping into this Emperor's energy, really trying to take control over the situation. So I do feel like there actually will be communication here um, coming up for you from this person if you are not in communication. If you are in communication, again, I feel like there's just going to be some conversations about a particular loss that is happening for them or about something that they are willing to give up, which might make them feel um, a little bit unstable at the moment. But I feel like in the overall scheme of things, they actually do have control over this situation. So let's see what this Two of Swords is, which is coming up in the near future. All right, and we have justice. All right, okay, so justice, clarifying the two of swords. There's a huge decision, and I feel like it's on the verge of being um, finalized. Like I said, like I feel like it's not 100% complete, right? Whatever what this ending is, I feel like that is what justice is referring to here as well with the two of swords. There is a, a decision. And it's kind of like, yeah, it, it's like the decision has already been made, like it's already there. There's already some kind of an ending, all right, that is taking place. That's what this decision is about. Um, it's really just a matter of fully embodying that, like owning it. Like it's already there. This person is already like grieving an ending, even if that ending has not really been finalized. So I hope that makes sense. Um, Let's see the King of Wands for the potential outcome here. Ooh, and we have the Knight of Swords and the Empress. All right, well, if this isn't somebody <laughs> slaying um, snakes and really moving and taking action towards their Empress, then I don't know what it is, all right? Overcoming obstacles. All right. Having to pretty much um, defeat whatever whatever is in the way of getting to this empress. All right. So this is your person. Um, like I said, right. It might feel like it's a little hesitant, like it's a little shaky, it's a little iffy. But that decision, I mean, that's going to be finalized as soon as this recovery has taken place. For an ending of whatever it is that was um, standing in the way between the two of you and this person is then coming quickly as this king of wands um, towards you basically they just really need to purge right whatever that loss is from their material world okay for some of you it definitely could be a commitment it could be um, a relationship it could be a marriage it could be work it could be anything All right, so this resonated. Let's see the final message for you. All 
All right, and we have the cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. This is definitely your person's energy here, all right? Being bold and making that first move in order to um, approach you in some way, and then of course it's going to be up to you whatever you want to do with that. All right, Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.